Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Game week 3 of Euro 2020 is upon us and actually takes place later on this afternoon. So I've got to get this video in really quickly. But before I make predictions for game week 3, let's have a quick look back at how well we all got on in game week 2. So as you can see, there are the scores. Top scorer from last week was 10 step and 10 step came away with 14 points overall with four perfect results. Those results being Italy versus Switzerland, 3-0 to Italy, of course. Uh, Denmark against Belgium, where Belgium came away with a 2-1 victory. Sweden's 1-0 victory over Slovakia. And Spain's draw with Poland, which happened last night. Myself, I came away with 11 points with two perfect scores. Sweden's victory over Slovakia and the Croatia-Czech Republic draw. So looking over the table overall, just after two game weeks, I'm actually on top with 22 points. Shane O'Donnell's on 20 points. Liam Grayson on 17. Uh, Hassan is on 15 and so is the dugout. 10 step who was top scorer for week two is in seventh position. But that's enough of game week two. Let's move on and make these predictions for game week three. So as these games are the final matches of the group stage, each fixture in the group stage have to take place at the same time. So first up this evening, we've got Italy coming up against Wales. It takes place at five o'clock uh, UK time. Italy, of course, two victories from their two matches and Wales have won one and drawn one. So a tight match I can see in this one. Probably low scoring. Not sure what the teams are going to be. There may be a bit of rotation for both teams. But I'm going to go for a narrow 1-0 victory to Italy. However, could end up in a 0-0 draw. Yeah, Italy looking very strong so far. Next, in the same group, Group A, we've got Switzerland coming up against Turkey. Now, Turkey haven't got a single point yet, but that could all change this evening. However, Switzerland need, really need to win this one if they're going to go through to the knockout stage. So I can see a narrow victory to Switzerland and I'm going 1-0 to the Swiss. Next up, on Monday evening at 8 o'clock, British time, we have got Group B with Finland taking on Belgium. Belgium topped the group with two victories, scored five goals and one conceded so far. Coming up in Finland in second position, so they need to um, get possibly at least a point, but they should go through if the worst comes to the worst as one of the best placed third place teams anyway. But Belgium looking very good so far in this tournament, and I can see Belgium coming away with a 2 0 victory. And this takes place in St. Petersburg in uh, Russia. Also in Group B, taking place at the same time, we've got Russia coming up against Denmark, taking place in Copenhagen, uh, Russia in third position, Denmark in fourth, so Denmark really need a victory in this one, and I think they will get it at home, and I can see Denmark narrowly beating Russia 2-1. Next up, we've got Group C, and these matches take place at 5 o'clock on Monday 21st of June. We've got Na North Macedonia coming up against Netherlands, Netherlands two victories in their first two matches, and North Macedonia suffering two defeats. So it all looks like a Dutch win in this one. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 victory to Netherlands. I think they may rotate in this match. Also, in Group C, we've got Ukraine coming up against Austria. Both of these teams on three points with one victory and one loss. So, bit of a tight one, this one. But I think Ukraine, looking at their team... Yeah, I, I've been impressed with the U Ukrainians so far. So I'm going to go for a narrow 1-0 victory to Ukraine. Next, we move on to Group D. This is where England and Scotland play, of course. Uh, first up, Croatia against Scotland. Scotland bottomed the group with just the one point with that 0-0 draw against England. Croatia also on one point, uh, drawing one and losing one. So, uh, yeah, another tight match. I think it's going to end in stalemate, so I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw, which will see Scotland score their first goal of the tournament. Also in Group D, we've got England coming up against Czech Republic. Um, fully expect England to win this one, bounce back. Maybe they'll score a couple of goals for a change. And I'm going to go for a narrow victory to England. 2-1. Moving on to Group E, we've got Slovakia coming up against Spain. Spain so far a little bit disappointing, drawing both of their matches so far. And Slovakia find themselves in second position with one win and one defeat. Spain really need to um, do something in this match if they want to qualify, either a draw or a victory. But I think they're going to put the foot on the gas in this one and come away with a 2-0 win. Also, in Group E, we have Sweden coming up against Poland. And Poland impressed against uh, Spain in that last match, although they do find themselves at the bottom of Group E on one point. So this one's going to be a very interesting affair. 
And I think it's gonna, another one that's going to end in stalemate. I'm going to go for a 1 1 draw, which will probably see Sweden go through in first position. And finally, we come up to the group of death, Group F. We've got Germany coming up against Hungary. This takes place in Munich. So a little bit of um, an advantage for the Germans in this one. I fully expect, and expect them to win. And I'm going to go for a 1 0 victory to Germany. Um, Hungary. A little bit tough to break down, as we've seen in their previous two matches, although Portugal scored their three goals in their 3-0 victory in the last, I think it was the last 10 minutes, wasn't it? And the final match of this game week is Portugal against France. Uh, France topped the group on four points, of course, and Portugal in second position. So another tight match. However, France are in familiar surroundings in the Puskas Arena in Budapest, where they drew 1-1 with Hungary. So I think that may give them a little bit of an advantage. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory to Les Blues. So that concludes my predictions for game week three of Euro 2020. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you leave your predictions in the comment section. See if you can climb up the table. But for now, I bid you farewell. Enjoy the football over the next few days. I'll see you in the next video.